I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Everybody complains about property tax, especially in New Jersey, because we have the highest property taxes in the country. But what do you get in return? Well, some people get more bang for their buck than others. A.J. Smith is the vice president of content for Smart Asset, and she's here to talk about this. As a matter of fact, she's got a list already. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. First of all, before we get to the list, what is Smart Asset? Yeah, we're a financial technology company, and we have free tools on our website that help people with those big financial decisions. Things like how much money do I need to save for retirement? How much home can I afford? What am I paying in property taxes? Those types of questions. And we kind of help people provide that advice using data. And we have access to all this data that we know has stories to tell and interesting things that will help people better understand their finances. So we do studies like this one telling you what kind of bang for your buck you're getting for your property taxes. Yeah, interesting things and cruel things. I, I would think that put doing a study on property taxes in New Jersey is actually can be cruel. <laughs> However, what you've done is you've figured out if you get what you pay for. And in New Jersey, property taxes stay local for the most part. Well, I think that's what people want to know. You know, they, they may feel like they're paying a lot of taxes, but they may feel good about it if they feel like they're getting something in return. Or they may feel like, I'm paying very little, but I, I'm, I'm getting so little. I feel like there's, there's not enough services, or I'm, I'm not getting the services I want, the schools for my children, or I'm not feeling safe in my neighborhood. So I think what we really wanted to see is where are those places that people are kind of getting a bargain, really, because they're getting more than, uh, than really what they're paying for. You, you mentioned two things when you gave that explanation. You mentioned law enforcement and you mentioned schools. Is that what you studied? That's what we looked at. We looked at those crime rates, both property and violent crimes, and we looked at school rankings, um, the Department of Education school rankings for, for the area, for the county. And we looked at those and determined what kind of people were getting, and then we looked at how much people were paying, the average property tax in that county, and we kind of saw where people were getting a little more than you might expect for that. Now, we're going to go through the list, but when we go through the list, what should people be looking at? Like, how did you figure out the value? I know what you looked at, but what are the numbers all about? Yeah, so what we did is we kind of combined that, um, you know, what you were getting, those kind of services that you're being provided. We looked at that crime, and we looked at those school rankings, and then we did. We just compared it to kind of that um, that property tax that you were paying, and, and we, we did what we call an index, a property tax index, and we ranked the best places in the country as the 100, you know, tops on the on the list, and then we kind of uh, graded it on a curve down. So what you see with that index number is where you compare to other places. In you the did country. it for the whole country. We did do it for the whole country. Yes, yeah. So I know we have a list of just New Jersey. Do you know off the top of your head if any place in New Jersey made the top 100? Uh, not, not in the top 100. And that's just because <laughs> that's just because, as you mentioned, I mean, New Jersey pays very high property taxes. Right. So, um, so we, you know, compared to the rest of the country, there were places where you can get a, a much bigger bang for your buck. But I don't think that's too surprising for people living in New Jersey. Okay, so let's just stick with New Jersey, and, and we won't be as cruel as we could be. <laughs> Why don't we give the top 10? Give me. Let's do it. Let's do a countdown. We'll go from 10 up to number one. Okay, great. And I think, yeah, one of the things this can be helpful with is, you know, if someone is moving to the area for a job opportunity or to be closer to family, you know, you may have that option of which, you know, where exactly do we want to settle down? Where exactly do we want to buy that house? And that's where a list like this can, can maybe help you a little bit in that, in that decision. So you brought the list so out So I brought with you. the list. Let's see. Uh, so drum roll maybe? No. <laughs> number <laughs> 10. <laughs> number 10, we've got um, Monmouth County coming in number 10 in the state of New Jersey. And, and basically what we see for these entire top 10 is we see pretty good schools. You know, people are getting pretty decent schools. In Monmouth, um, it's an 8 out of 10 for schools, 10 being the highest. Oh, that's great. Um, and then when we look at um, property crimes and violent crimes, we also see numbers that are, you know, below 2,000 um, per 100,000 people in, in the county. Um, and, uh, and Middlesex comes in at number 9. Number 8, we have Burlington. Number 7, we have Ocean. Number 6 is Warren. Number 5 is Bergen. Number 4 is Somerset. Number three, we have Morris, and then our top two, we've got Sussex is number two, and Hunterdon is number one. And, and really what we see is we kind of, you know, unilaterally, we see those numbers, the crime numbers go down, and we see 
pretty much the school numbers going up. There's a little bit of variation. I mean, Ocean has a 6 out of 10, while Burlington has a 7 out of 10. But it's interesting that all 10 are in North Jersey and the middle part of New Jersey, so South Jersey, it sounds like, didn't do as well. Not scoring as well. And, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean um, that, you know, it's it means that maybe you're paying a little more and, and not necessarily getting what you, what you might expect for, for those numbers. But, you know, people may be uh, happier to have the property taxes being a little bit lower. So, that again, that's kind of up to some one, if you're moving there and you're like, I'm, I'm a retired couple, I don't have any children in the school district, I'm, I'm not too concerned with that, um, then, you know, that's something that you can you can decide on your own. So there's 21 counties. Who was last? Passaic was last, coming in um, last in the in our study, and that's because the school rating was a number one, and we had crime rates that were that were higher. When you say number content. one, you don't mean top number one. You <laughs> no. mean one out of, uh, out of out one of to ten. Yep. And they're still paying high... Yeah, I mean, you know, relatively high for kind of what what you're seeing there. Yes, um, you know, some some areas like that were in that uh, in that top ten um, were paying you know a little bit lower. I mean, Monmouth County, we see the average county rate as 1.99 percent, so below that two percent, um, and still seeing good schools and relatively low crime. So you know that can be a, a value. Where where can people see this? They can go to our website, smartasset.com, and we have this study and and other studies that that deal with some of the data for things like this for top like this. It's interesting because what it shows is that some people have more reason to complain than others. And there's some people that are actually getting some value for their money. And so it varies county to county. It'll be fascinating. And I'm, I'm sure it'll be used in many arguments in city councils and county councils across the state. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate me. you being here. AJ Smith, Vice President of Content for Smart Asset. And that wraps up Jersey Matters for this week. I'm Larry Menti. Stick around for another thing.